orange and blue. I can't juggle four, so I toss it to you, and I call it time. The first morning, I was awoken by kookaburras. Aggie had a new pastime. He was a hot air balloonist. Well, what are you on? Right, uh, the, you know, for the last few years I've just spent most of my life working on just a few projects that I can get totally in, into and um, do these to the best of my abilities. Uh, the balloon's one of them and after the two years ballooning now, we've finally got a system that hasn't flown very much, but the potential's pretty good. Being an elbow man on the morning bus. Gee, that this cat won't move for five minutes. Oh, he's a deli. Hmm. Didn't move at all. Yes, you did. You set off a chain motion of paranoid noises. Now's the telephone. You'll hear something paranoid for the next 13 seconds now. That silence is a paranoid type of silence so until it's broken. Now we see what breaks it. It's throbby, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. I hadn't reckoned on Caprice. Yes, well, there's the fundamental thing about movies, man, which I don't know how many people who don't know much about movies are not properly cognizant of, and that is that movies are watched in the dark. Right. That is probably one of the most... Uh, now, I've just panned on to that. Now, there is no other medium whatsoever in which the sole illumination, the sole absolute, the second yes. dynamic pragmatism of energy comes at you purely in light waves, otherwise you'd be totally in the dark because everything else has uh, theatrical lighting and things like that. Movies don't. 